And good evening, everyone. Tonight, the crackdown continues on companies that owe back taxes in Onondaga County. A property owned by Ohio-based DMI Acquisitions, located at 56 Industrial Drive in the town of Geddes, has been in a legal battle with the county over back taxes. Earlier today, the county legislature voted to put that property in the hands of a county branch to redevelop it. Now, News Channel 9's Josh Martin joins us now. Josh, break this down for us. Yeah, lots to get to. A state Supreme Court judge is going to be the one that decides where this property ultimately goes. The old industrial, uh, the old property on Industrial Drive, the Suez Energy Power Plant, will be giving to the county's industrial development agencies so it can begin being redeveloped and get back on the tax roll. As we've documented here at News Channel 9, this isn't the only property that owes Onondaga back taxes. The county executive has vowed to make what he calls bad neighbors famous until they get uh, the money they're owed. Onondaga County is one step closer to taking this property. The county says DMI Acquisitions hasn't paid its taxes since 2014 and now owes more than $1 million. They were trying to scrap the property of its value uh, and uh, they haven't paid the sewer unit charges on this property. They haven't done anything. And there's reason to believe that they may even be uh, still trying to scrap the property. Good morning, everybody. McMahon created the Onondaga County Accountability and Reinvestment Corporation, which is an arm of county government that can take seized properties and set them up for redevelopment. Great Northern Mall, making headlines this week as well, has also racked up quite a bit of debt. $3 million plus. McMahon says the law states it can't be seized until three years of back taxes have added up. After several calls to the owner of Great Northern Mall, we were told it's working on a payment plan. But I was very interested to read that they've been talking to our office because they haven't. And again, this is a company that is taking rents. Uh, they went and actually had a tax assessment agreement in the Supreme Court about eight months ago. So they agreed with the town of Clay on what their assessment should be, yet they owed money, yet they didn't pay any money. Great Northern has until October of next year to pay up. As for the Suez property, there's still some legal bathing and forth going on. We're expecting an update on these two properties and others that owe taxes later this week. Christy.